why do people always go with the gut? The gut doesn't think. I mean, have you ever thought about what the gut does? The gut merely re regurgitates food. It, it literally digests food. There is no thought here, okay? The brain does thinking, right? So we, we shouldn't say, I'm gonna go with the gut. You, you, you'll make a mistake. You have to go with the brain. Now that is always right. The, the brain is a lot smarter than the gut. It, that's where, yeah. Uh, have you ever noticed how when someone calls you a dumbass, it's, also, it's an insult? And yet, if that very person called you a smartass, it's also an insult. Why, why is that so? They are opposites. How, I mean, dumb is the opposite of smart. Smart is the opposite of dumb. It should be a praise to call someone a smart ass. You, instead of, uh, instead of like uh, something derogatory, hey, smart ass. <laughs> you know, when you're walking down the street, you should be able to greet your your pals like this. Hey, smart ass! There you go. Uh, do you want to hear a stupid joke? I am the nicest person in 28 years. I told you it would be stupid. Do you want to hear a funny epitaph? I am just glad that it's over. Yes, imagine walking in a graveyard. You read an epitaph uh, on a stone. It says, I am just glad that it's over. <laughs> uh, I, uh, there was once a man who was completely inexperienced at golf. In fact, he, he only, uh, and yet he was the, the perfect golfer. He had not made one mistake in his entire career. Do you know how this happened? I'll tell you how. He only shot one ball. He, and it went in. It was a hole-in-one. Thus, he went down in history as the perfect golfer, better than Jack Nicholas, better than Tiger Woods. He was perfect. Uh, what's the deal with number two pencils? I mean, serious. Isn't it about time that we call them number one? pencils. I mean, they've clearly outshined and beaten the so-called number one pencil. I mean, we, uh, besides, who's ever seen a number one pencil? In all my years of schooling, I never ran into a number one pencil, and the teachers always kept telling us uh, before we took a, a scan text, get out your number two pencils. Who in the hell had a number one pencil? Or a number three pencil? We only had twos. Uh, I think, besides, owing to the fact that I think the number one pencil is a mere myth and probably uh, never uh, doesn't exist and probably never existed to begin with. I think we need to call the number two pencil just a pencil. The end.